Hello, and welcome to another Orange Coast College Mathematics video. In this video, we're going to learn how to graph a parabola when it's given in vertex form. Now, vertex form, what is that? It's when your quadratic function, or you know, f of x, or when it's y equals a, a constant a, times x minus h quantity squared plus k. And this is called vertex form because just by looking at the equation, you can see the vertex. The vertex is hk. So remember, when you're looking for, when you have a, a parabola in vertex form, right, the vertex is always going to be hk. It's going to be x minus h and then plus k here, okay? Uh, now, again, this is a, a parabolic function or quadratic function. So it's, its graph is a parabola, you know, which is like this, u-shaped. The uh, parabola is going to open upward like that if that number a is positive, and it's going to open downwards if that a is negative, okay? The axis of symmetry, so there's a, the, every parabola has an axis of symmetry, which is a line that basically divides it in half. It's going to be x equals h. And in general, it's always x is going to be equal to the x coordinate of the vertex. And its y intercept is going to be f of 0. So you can just evaluate this function at x equals 0, and that'll give you where it crosses the y axis. All right, in our first example, we want to graph y equals x squared by plotting points. So if you kind of use the fact that this is in vertex form, right, the vertex should be 0, 0. Uh, that number a would just be 1. So it should open upward. But let's plot a few points here. So we'll just do x and y. So if x is 0, uh, y is x squared. Let me write x squared here. So that should just be 0. If x were 1, right, then x squared would also be 1. If x were 2, uh, x squared would be 4. And let's just do if x were 3, then uh, x squared would be 9. And because x squared is an even function, right? If I plugged in negative 1 for x, the square of that would also be positive 1. That doesn't really matter if I have plus or minus here. So in other words, if I either, if I have plus or minus 1, y will still be 1. If I have plus or minus 2, the y will still be 4. So we can plot those points. So we have 0, 0 and then 1, 1, and then negative 1, 1, 2, 4, and then negative 2, 4, and then 3, 9, and negative 3, 9. And so we get this again, kind of U-shape, or I don't know how to describe it. So sorry, my graphs are, are going to be not very good. I'm not a great artist here. So it kind of looks like this. should really be smoother than I just drew it. And then it should do, continue the same way on the other side. And so, again, the vertex here, the vertex, let me just erase a little bit of this one. The vertex is the origin. The y-intercept is also 0. And the axis of symmetry is x equals 0. Example 2. Now, in the rest of our examples here, the shape is always going to be the same as the one we just drew, uh, but we have to change, like, we'll have to figure out, well, what is the vertex of this particular one? What is its axis of symmetry? And so on. So I want to graph y equals uh, x minus 1 quantity squared plus 2, and we're going to find the vertex, the axis of symmetry, the y-intercept, and we're going to figure out how many x-intercepts it should have. So here, remember, it's x minus h squared plus k squared. So here are the h is 1, and the k is 2. So the vertex is going to be 1, 2. The a, a in this case, remember, a would be the coefficient right here, but there is none. So that means that a is 1. So this is going to open upward. Okay. The axis of symmetry is going to be x equals the x-coordinate of the vertex. The um, y-intercept is what I get when it's the y-coordinate when x is 0. So if you plug in x equals 0 here, you're going to get negative 1 squared. It'll be 1 plus 2 is 3. And the number of x-intercepts, it'll probably be easier to just draw and then figure it out from there. But since the vertex lies above the x-axis and opens upward, it's going to have no x-intercepts. So let's just draw the picture now. So okay, our vertex is 1, 2. That's right here. It's going to cross the y-axis at 3, and it opens upward. So you just kind of mimic the shape we had before. We don't have to make it perfect. It doesn't really matter that much, honestly. 
And that's what the graph should look like, more or less. Example three, graph y equals x plus five quantity squared. Let's find the vertex, the axis of symmetry, the y-intercept, and state the number of x-intercepts. So uh, again here, remember it's x minus h. It's gonna give you the x-coordinate for, the, the, the h is gonna give you the x-coordinate of the vertex. So h here is gonna be negative five, right? Because in vertex form, it should be x minus h. So if it was x minus negative five, that would simplify to x plus five. And then it's gonna be plus k over here, but you'll notice there's no k, which means that k is zero. Okay, and again, the a would be the coefficient that would be right here, but there isn't one, which just means that a is one. All right, and that gives us everything we really need to know here. So the vertex is negative five, zero. Uh, it opens upward because again, a is positive. The axis of symmetry is uh, oops, x equals negative 5. Um, the y-intercept, I just can find that by uh, plugging in x equals 0. It's going to be 25. It's going to be off of the, the graph here. It's fine. And uh, let's see. Again, because it... Okay, so the vertex is actually on the x-axis, right? The vertex lies on the x-axis and it opens up, which means it's it's gonna intersect the x-axis one time, one x-intercept, but we don't go with that. So, okay, so here's the vertex, five, zero, and it's just gonna go up like this. Okay, this is it. And that's your graph. Example four, graph y equals negative x squared plus four and then find the vertex, the axis of symmetry, the y-intercept, and state the number of x-intercepts. Okay, so again, it should be a times x minus h squared. Since it's just x squared or negative x squared, that means our h would be zero, right? Because if it was x minus zero squared, you'd get x squared. And then the k is four. And now since we have a negative sign here, okay, a is negative one. So that means the vertex, it's going to be 0, 4. Okay, let's graph that right now here. So 0, 4 is on the y-axis like that. Um, that also means the y-intercept has to be 4. Okay, if you plugged in x equals 0, you'd get the same thing, 4. Uh, the, it opens down because a is negative. And then uh, the axis of symmetry, it's x equals the x-coordinate of the vertex. So that's just x equals 0, which is the y-axis. Okay, and so it's gonna look like this. So for this particular example, you can actually tell pretty easily what the x-intercepts are. If you plugged in y equals zero and solve for x, that would tell you the x-intercepts. In this case, it would be uh, plus or minus two, right? And that's graphing uh, parabolas using vertex form. So if you practice this, uh, this this method with vertex form is relatively straightforward. It's mostly about identifying h and k and a from the equation. Uh, once you get good at this, you can move on to the next topic, which is how to graph a, a parabola uh, in standard form. Until next time, have fun.